as people start to leave their homes. As people start to leave their homes, they stop, their, they stop their gentle staring out. Post pandemic depression will hit hard for some. Lines will get longer. Space will get more expensive, more valuable, harder to defend, harder to justify holding on to, like cigarettes and rituals. Relief comes in many forms, sleeping through the night, a cold shower, a fighting breeze in the morning. I study war paint myself. When I am hungry, I eat. When I am thirsty, I drink. I wait outside of banks. I steal mail. I chafe skin on the shady side of a frontage crown. My knees learn, but my body sits hiked in a chair. Deduction. Deduction gives us answers in the morning, gives us sources for light and sound. Deduction, when confronted with the infinite, gives us a drawer in which to file our expectations. Many wait silently by the river. Once expert pressers of buttons, we are now forced to make do with switches and levers. Our minds are ovens, baking. Everything rattles at night, but there is a cause. By process of elimination, we read the queer panel. I take a step away from the dog-eared life. I turn my head at the coo of the dove. I've grown hard. A rigid cloud pivots to block the sun. With a flourish of water, the dishes are done. That actually sounds like something. Something is due. Something is due. You can read it in the unsquinting eyes of everyone looking at their phones this morning. Something is due, I infer, from a peach leaf or two, due from the west, arriving in a bundle. New blooms asking, how much longer is the day going to get? In a few days, they'll regret asking. It won't be a longer winter than usual. It will only feel like it. Buildings of Astoria. The buildings of Astoria fan out, quiet today, hesitate under the high roar of a plane. The bridge shakes with traffic, but doesn't show what a time lapse shows. Against a deep blue sky, landmarks are a means to an end. Our modifications only echo and annoy or amplify when channeled like steam in closed bottles, in fat pairs, in sunlight.
This one's based on a true story. One of the flying kind. One of the flying kind, still, eyes dark windowless rooms, wings in tension hover arched on the molding. A sequence of answered questions it is sculpted, yet it knows not the discussions around it. I'm rusty, it gives me the slip. I tip my cap, turn off the light, and head to the bedroom. At daybreak, having crawled into the window frame, I see some bird has left a gift on the fire escape. One of these two dozen maddening chirps with an earshot knows too much. The way they spray their chase about is a desire path leading me to the place where I will make sense of it. At the window. At the window in the morning, there's plenty of time to inspect whatever madness has transpired. Over the weekend, air conditioners number nine and 10 appeared. An unsettling cough slaps against a couple of walls. I bring my blood up to pace, practicing my moments, my progression from dry to keen. Today's the day the starling scream. While I was waiting for the big reveal, the old normal came back, a shadow absorbing its source as the sun rises. I'm just going to read the last four poems um, in the book, one after the other, and then maybe read uh, a new thing as an encore, and then um, call it a day or an afternoon. Um, so, again, what a future. I'm stoked. Um, I'm really proud of the work in this book. Uh, it's got an ISBN and a barcode and everything. Um, my really talented friend Jake Thomas did the cover layout. Uh, I think it looks awesome. And um, I'm just really stoked that it's out. And uh, I want to get as many people to read it as possible. Um, so I'm going to be doing, I think, a lot of things like this. I've, I've had a lot of fun today doing this, uh, doing this reading. So... Hopefully, uh, hopefully more will come. Cresting the Solstice. Cresting the Solstice, morning offers a gift. A brief moment of air at the top, like the first hill of a large coaster. Still weightless on descent, fees feet rise off the floor. Breathing feels nice, like looking over your shoulder, but everywhere you look, an odd horizon glows. Never to stay with anyone, never to be a photograph, sharp but with no discourse. Prepare thee a tightening of the fist and the love of a cipher.
clever, nocturnal, and silent. Theory is a border, nothing more. Claw at the daybook like a madman in my robe in this confident, broken weather. We feel better today, don't we? Overhead the days pop. Overhead the days pop and dissipate. They feather through me. I emerge underfoot in a dusk shower, having circled around. A skillful navigation or a total surrender depends on your perspective, but it's been going on forever. Under the water, in the breath, and in the roar of motion, I see abiogenesis as inevitable. Energy in agreement, turning and eventually setting into flares and caretakers of flares. I sit with it for more than two seconds. I gasp, the room shakes, the timer dings, the world outside implodes. <laughs> 